Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is how to make a grade sheet in Microsoft Excel. Now, if you're a teacher or just someone who needs to grade other people, this could come in handy. You can see here I've already set up the basic idea. What the advantage here is is that Excel will actually calculate grade averages for us so we don't have to do them ourselves. Here I've got a column for names and columns for test one, test two, test three, test four, and the final exam. They're all filled in. Tom, Sally, Jim, and Karen have done pretty well. Some of them improved over the course of the semester. And we want to find out what their average is. To do that, we'll use an Excel formula. Click here over in the final column under grade uh, on the first row for Tom. And uh, always remember to start off any equation, any function, with an equal sign. Uh, now, an average is basically a bunch of numbers added together divided by how many numbers there are. If you want to add numbers in Microsoft Excel, you use the SUM function. Remember all capitals, S-U-M, and then in parentheses, we're going to go from A2, sorry, B2, where the grades start. We're not going to average out the name. B2, and then use a colon for range and go through to E2. This gets the uh, first four test grades out of the way for Tom. If we sum them now, we'd have them added together. That's good. We also want to add in his final exam, but we want the final exam to be worth four times as much as any test. So to do that, inside the parentheses still, but after the range, we'll put a comma, and then use the product function, P-R-O-D-U-C-T, all caps, and in another set of parentheses inside there, we're going to put the column F, row 2, comma 4. This is multiplying F2 by 4. And that's going to add it, using the sum function, to the rest of these. Now, once you have that, it's a simple matter of making sure we divide by the total number of stuff we have. We have four tests and a final exam worth four tests, so that's 8. So we're going to use the quotient function, which is dividing and at the end there, right inside the last parenthesis, we'll put a comma and eight. Hit enter to complete your function, and you'll see that we have Tom's average of 87. Now, to make sure that we can get all the other averages, it's pretty easy. Just copy this, uh, click on the cell with the 87 there, control C or command C on a Mac, and then click on the next one and paste, control V or command V. You'll see that it actually gets Sally's average because it knows to go down to the next row. And then you do that for each one and you're all set. I'm Jeff, and this is how to make a grade sheet in Microsoft Excel.